What's good YouTube? Brianna Lauren here. So this is gonna be like a chill kind of video. There are just some tips and tricks with my foundation routine. I've changed it, upgraded it, updated it, and I wanted to just share with you guys some of these tips and tricks. If it's your first time here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, what's good? You guys are my real ones. And if you've just been watching my videos and you haven't been subscribing, but you've been keeping watching my videos, subscribe, you know, why not join the fam? It's gonna be just an updated foundation routine, some tips and tricks that I'm doing that I've gotten from some beauty bloggers, makeup artists that I've seen that I'm really digging. I've got some goodies in here. Um, and we're also going to be doing a holiday giveaway. A thousand dollars of product holiday giveaway. So I'm gonna let you guys know how you can enter that at some point in this video. I'm not gonna tell you if it's at the end because then you'll just skip to the end. So make sure you watch the whole thing. Get the details they'll also be down below too but you know all right so let's just get into it okay so first things first is skin prep so no matter what you're doing foundation wise even if you're only using concealer a foundation powder a liquid the skin prep needs to be on fleek when is the last time you've heard anyone say that i don't even say that don't even know why i said it first thing i'm going to do is just take these one size beauty these are their go off juiciest makeup remover wipes and i just like to make sure my face is clean and use just a regular cleanser to do this i've already washed my face but i've like eaten and stuff so i'm just taking a wipe and making sure the face is completely clean this is the ella Luz beauty water and this is infused with oil too and i really like this lately i've just been using this to prep and refresh the skin so i'm just going to spray that on the skin just to get a little bit nice hydration base cc me serum by summer fridays this is such a nice vitamin c serum it hydrates it plumps it smooths the skin in such a way and I can see that it's helping just to brighten these little dark spots. We'll apply that to my neck, the face, and just always go upward. You wanna lift the face, lift those muscles. Get the muscles to just wake up so we look refreshed and not tired. This watermelon, what is this? Oh, Glow, glow Recipes. Watermelon Glow Pink Moisturizer. I just take two pumps of that. My forehead's been really dry lately too. And I got a little cut. Like, I don't even know where that came from. So the skin is looking prepped and hydrated, okay? Taking Summer Fridays, this is their Lip Butter Balm. And I'm just prepping the lips too. We want everything to be super hydrated. So this is something that I've always been doing and just makes such a difference. I actually filmed this video before, right? Did the whole thing, was editing it, and I was just like, something is not right. Like, what did we forget? And we forgot the most important part of the mix. So I was like, you have to come on here and just refilm this video. Translucent powder. This is in the shade medium deep. And I like to take this and stamp this under the skin first. I just got powder on my phone. Oh, that's not a smart thing to do. So like, let's say I forgot to put primer on. Like right now, I didn't put primer on. But I did this trick right here. This is going to help lock and seal everything in. And my skin right now is a little bit combination. The skin gets dry in the morning and then the oils kind of come through over just throughout the day and this i'm going to use as my primer today you can use whatever primer you want and you can still go in with your tlsp but if you have large pores you know you get shine throughout the day your makeup tends to move around the nose you're wearing a mask you just want to place that translucent powder in those areas where you are used to that makeup moving. 
The next thing that I'm going to do, I got this from Jamie Genevieve. She was using the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter as her base or like the first part to her base and then using a concealer or foundation over top of it. So I was like, mm, let me let me try this and this right here game changer so this is the flawless filter charlotte tilbury this is in the shade seven and this is a little bit on the orange side and i'll just show you guys but i'm actually the foundation that i'm going to use with it i used it the other day and i haven't used this foundation in a while and it is just a bomb combination uh if you have a little bit of darkness you can pop this under the eyes because it does have a bit of more like peach orangey tone to correct. I'm just gonna take a big brush. This is the Laura Mercier blending brush, I think. There's no name on it. It's their blending brush. And just kind of tap it out a little bit. Just so that orange shade is not super, super potent. This is the NARS All Day Luminous Foundation. This was such a beautiful foundation when this came out. I used the shade Macau, and in the NARS foundations, I'm around like Macau, New Guinea-ish, Benares sometimes, but like lately I haven't been losing my tan over the summers. So Macau, New Guinea, around those shades. So I'm gonna take this. This is a very kind of liquidy foundation, but it blends out so beautifully. I'm gonna take the same foundation brush and then just start to build this over that flawless filter by Charlotte Tilbury. Y'all, when I tell you, I did, I used this foundation, cause I have a bunch of them. Like when it was, I think it was either going out of stock, grabbed so many of these. I was like, man, I should just wear this again. And it's such, a beautiful foundation. I also like their Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation and Sheer Glow. All the NARS foundations are pretty solid. I haven't tried the Soft Matte, but I've watched reviews of it and it looks beautiful on the skin. I'm just building this up. Because I would consider this more of like a liquid foundation rather than a cream, it's blending so nicely and kind of just working it right into that flawless filter. Y'all, I'm gonna get in close for this because look how I still have like that undercurrent glow from the flawless filter, but this like smoothed everything out, made it super poreless. Like I'm like, what? What? I, I gotta see if they discontinued this. Well, the, how everything kind of just flows into the undertone in my chest, to the face. It just works so, so well. The coverage though, is like a perfect medium coverage. It's not full, it's not sheer. You can still see my skin, but it's working. And always just, take a little bit of whatever the excess is and go right down like that. Okay, next. I've been watching Patrick Ta's channel for Patrick Ta Beauty. Just the way he does makeup is just close and near and dear to my heart. But what he actually does first is he actually contours first with a cream contour. And he used this in his video, a lot of people use this too, but I didn't try it until I saw Patrick use it. I was like, okay, I'm gonna get it. So this is Huda Beauty. This is the Tantor. Contour and cream bronzer. This is in the shade medium. I could have got dark, but I felt like dark was like too dark and medium I could really just work with a little bit better. So I'm gonna take an angled brush, Laura Mercier. I have all her brushes right in front of me, so these are the brushes I'm gonna be using. And I'm just tapping it into here, tapped off the excess, and then started to work the product in. So he kept it pretty high, and just kind of started to build 
a little bit of a natural contour to the model's skin. So that's what we're gonna do with our skin. And going into what's on the back of the hand and just building that product from there rather than dipping right back into the case. You have a little bit more control over how much you use. I really want to snatch the jawline a little bit because Quarantina had me eat all kinds of carbs. <laughs> carbs are just so comforting. So we're back on track. It's just kind of tone up in the winter time. Hopefully the summer will be different in 2021. And Patrick said he does this because when he contours, it helps him to be able to like use less of the concealer because he's seeing like where he shaded first and then where he wants to brighten. So I was like, you know what? Let's try this. Cause that seems like a pretty interesting concept. Normally we highlight first and then we go in and contour. So I kind of just wanted to see, does this really make a difference or should we keep doing the makeup the same way we do? So now I'm just gonna take a beauty blender and just start to blend where we placed that contour a little bit. Let's go into concealer. I'm gonna leave the Tantor out just in case we wanna go back to it. But this is actually a really nice consistency of cream product. Like it blends out really, really nicely and doesn't, it's the least amount of effort it takes to blend it out. Next, I'm gonna go in with NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I'm gonna use two shades, Amand first, which is very close to my skin tone, and then we're gonna use Caramel to brighten. So for Amand, I'm just gonna go right in here. This does actually kind of color correct for me. If there are days where I feel a little tired, want a little bit more brightening, but I don't wanna go right in with my lighter concealer shade, I like to do Amand first. And Amand works for me too if I just want to spot conceal on the face and not do a full face of makeup. I'm using my Laura Mercier blush brush. I'm just going to blend that right out. Just like so. And we kind of did a under a triangle under the eye just to nicely brighten this whole area. I'm gonna go. We're gonna go in with caramel. And caramel is gonna be more of our brightening, lifting shade. I am going to go underneath where we contoured and kind of come downward. And then go right under here. And you'll see why I'm bringing the concealer down because when we set the face with our powder, it's gonna make a difference. Boom, little in between, little here, little here. And let's get the blend in. Ryan Little. <laughs> Blend everything together. Just like so. I don't normally contour my nose, but what I will do is take like a small little blending brush, just a little bit of bronzer. This is the Kosa's Sunshow bronzer. Just a little bit on the sides and underneath. Listen. 
onto setting because we do want to set and lock this in place. So I'm going to take the Laura Mercier. What is this called? I'm going to use the translucent loose setting powder in honey. And I am going to bake a little bit because I want to show you a cool trick that I learned. So I am going to bake under the eyes, going to pull this up and out, side of the nose, up and out. Now Jamie Genevieve did this. She went under where she contoured, right? But rather than leaving it straight, she brought it down almost like on this angle here. See that? So it almost is going to sculpt the face down because my cheeks are a little round right now. She's got a round face too. And she was saying this was giving her a little bit more of the effect with the contouring. So it kind of just brings everything more contour. Just like that. And we're just gonna leave it for a second and let it bake like a little crazy. Let's go to brows really quick. I'm going to brush my brows upward. Just got these. These are the Glossier brow, what are these? Oh, the Glossier uh, brow flick pens. So the black is like way too dark. So I'm gonna use the brown. This brow pen is really nice if you wanna build right in the close part right here. Sometimes a pencil looks like you went in and like drew hairs. So the brow pen looks a little bit more natural. Looks like the brow hairs. Looks like the brows might be like laminated. All of that. Super natch. Super quick. Take your spoolie, kind of like brush it through the hairs a little bit. Go back in. I'm gonna go back in with a mond and just draw a little thin underline just to make them really look nice and clean. Cause we're not doing eye makeup today. This focus is completely on the skin so we can have the brows looking their best too. Just like that. All right, take that buffing brush. And now we're just gonna blend those edges where we put that baking powder. And then we're gonna reinforce the contour with some bronzer. I'm gonna take the Sun Show bronzer, a little bit more of like a red undertone warm more like a warm undertone and it's also going to help to set that cream contour okay. next this is patrick todd this is she's seductive blush so i'm going to pop this onto the cheeks and i'm actually going to keep this high too. I'm not gonna bring it all the way down because my cheekbones are very like round. So higher up is the place to be today. Especially if you wanna lift the face, not bring the face down. If you've gained some weight during quarantine, you're, I think sometimes you gain the weight. I mean, I definitely gain weight in my face. 
So sometimes how you were applying your makeup before, when you were a little bit thinner, sometimes changes. This blush is a really nice natural flush of color. It's not like over dramatic and it builds really nicely. And with Vive, holy chic, this is the Nova Glow highlighter. This has been a favorite of mine. A little on the cupid's bow. Right on that high point of the face. And to be using Pat McGrath's Dark Star Mascara. This one, y'all, it's beautiful. You can curl your lashes if you want, but I'm just gonna keep it pretty natural. This does a pretty good job of curling. I don't normally curl my lashes, but my lashes work well if a mascara does a little bit of curling and lifting. You can just see already. The lip combo I'm digging, this is KKW Beauty. This is the, what is this, point two? New two lip liner. I'm going to take a little bit of Patrick Ta. This is, she's confident. I like to just tap it. Right in the center. Finish it off with a little Fenty Beauty. This is Gloss Balm and Fenty Glow. I did order one of the new Fenty Gloss Balm creams. I'm gonna be doing a whole look with that. Final thing, go back in, just do a nice patting, blending. If you know that in some areas you get a little bit of shine, you can go back in with your translucent powder. Just take a little on a brush and I kind of like to just work it and then just kind of sweep it across just to get a really nice even blend. So this is the final look you guys. Just really natural, flawless skin, a little bit of glow. A little bit of contouring. It's just really evening out the skin tone in the best way possible. Where the skin looks so good, a little mascara goes a long way. But let's get to the nitty gritty, okay? Holiday giveaway, a thousand dollars worth of product. So this is really just a thank you to you guys. You know, I really started doing YouTube earlier this year when COVID happened. And just your support, your comments, your feedback, I've just been so grateful for and so appreciative of that i want to give somebody the opportunity <laughs> to just win a bunch of free products uh, we've got some pharmacy we've got some summer fridays we've got some anti-aging devices kosas we've got alpen beauty super goop just some of my favorite brands that i've been able to work with and just try their products and I want to give someone the opportunity of what it feels like to get some PR, you know? And what better way to do that is holiday giveaway. So three things you have to do to enter. One, two, three. So first, make sure you are subscribed to my YouTube channel. Number two, make sure you're following my Instagram. That is Brianna Loren. And number three, you gotta leave me a comment below just telling me something positive that you learned or came out of 2020 with so you know i think there's it's so easy to just see the negatives and how 2020 went and how people can't wait for it to be over but hey you are alive during 2020 so there is a reason why you're here and what that reason might be what something positive or affected you in a way that really helped change your perspective about 2020 so leave that below and yeah subscribe to the youtube follow me on instagram 
comment a positive thing about 2020 that you learned and make sure you just put your Instagram handle down below in the comments too because I'm going to announce the winner on Christmas which will be December 25th so guys I'm so excited thank you guys for watching this video thank you guys for checking out my new foundation routine let me know if you use any of the tips I use any of the products tag me in the photos at Brianna Loren on IG if you post them or just shoot them to me in a DM because I'd really like to see how these products are affecting you guys and are they helping you in the way you're applying your makeup so again thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video peace out Cub Scouts